Taurus woman, one of the uh, complimentary star signs to um, Pisces. Taurus, jeez, where do I begin? Um, Taurus woman is probably, in my opinion, one of the most loyal women you'll ever find on planet Earth. Truth be told. Taurus women, when it comes to relationships, don't bounce around. Um, if you find yourself a Taurus woman, know for a fact that she's not going to do a three-month relationship with you. She's not going to do a six-month relationship with you. She is going to do a fucking long-term relationship. Taurus women are all about long-term relationships. They want relationships to work. They are all about relationships. And they don't do short-term relationships. Um, they are 100% devoted to the idea of relationship relationships. But sometimes to a fault because... They can fall very quickly. That's the first, like, that's the first bad habit about Taurus. They they start idolizing relationships way before the guy even asks about a relationship. Nine times out of ten, if you have a Taurus woman, she's thought about, before you even get into a relationship, she's thought about how you're going to be the perfect boyfriend, her role as a girlfriend. Um, and once you get into a relationship, she re literally wants to know everything about you. She's the type of woman... That wants to be involved in your, not only in your life, but in your family's life as well. So she wants to meet your family. She wants to have a relationship with your cousins, your sisters, your, you know, brothers, your mom, your granny. She wants to be part of that whole setup. She's very much a family orientated woman. So no, in no way, shape or form is she the type that wants to go out to clubs and uh, spend time with big groups of friends. She is very much closed off and believes in small intimate kind of um gathering so she would spend a whole weekend with you and you alone with no netflix or a movie or just popcorn she is very modest very down to earth not flamboyant not the type that likes showing off she doesn't need much to be entertained her love and affection to her is displayed not through material possession. Love and affection to her is, you know, displayed through time and commitment that you place within the relationship and the energy and commitment you place into getting to know her more. She falls super hard um, and um, she would never project. She's very good at expressing what she wants and she's not afraid of expressing how far she wants to go and take the relationship at all. The fault that Taurus woman go through though is that not many guys are willing to be that vulnerable with a Taurus woman not many guys are willing to be that open in um, conversations about their feelings their affection and um, I think with most women but specifically with Taurus women you know she constantly needs to be reminded about her importance and her role in your life understand that you're dealing with a woman that wants to understand you at like in every she doesn't want anyone else to know you better than her she wants to know everything about you when it comes to your job when it comes to your fears when it comes to your um goals you she wants to know everything and that's the beauty of this woman but she's not going to ask you for the same commitment back she kind of wants to see whether you're going to give that but she's a sucker for bad treatment and what that means is she will give 100%, not ask for 100%, be okay with what you offer, but at like low key, she actually wants the same kind of 100%, but she feels like by giving 100%, you should naturally reciprocate that 100%. And nine times out of 10, Taurus women unfortunately unfortunately go through the, the reality of finding out that, you know, she's not going to get the same kind of vulnerability and commitment that you know, most, most, most Taurus women offer. Um, Taurus women are sexual. And again, they very sell like sacrificial. So to impress you and to keep you from wandering around, she will do just about anything with you. In her mind, you are her man and she she wants to give you all the pleasure and all the love. So she's willing to try. And um, again, she will kind of act like she likes certain things, but deep down she doesn't really like it, but she won't tell you. 
but because she loves you so much and she knows she has the responsibility of you know satisfying you she will go with it um very addictive at times she's the type of person that can be clingy and can get addicted to you she's the type of person that would move in with you within like three months she's okay with the idea of moving in with you um she wants to be in your space she wants to be around you and it's not because like she's clingy at a fault she just really imprints herself on the relationship and i think the fault with some taurus women is that they lose themselves in the identity of the relationship which is very very dangerous you can't do that but i understand why they do that you know at the end of the day they just want to show and be consumed by the idea of the relationship um and they just want to be surrounded by love and um you know they wish for that love back so yeah very protective super protective um very much like leo very much like virgo super protective um very jealous taurus women are very territorial and very jealous they don't want anyone messing with their their man and um they are willing to go out of their way to make it known that that's their guy um also very industrious uh they're not shy to work and put in the commitment but again like i said taurus women they're the type of woman that Like you gotta be smart. Um, if they fall in love, like like I said, they're not materialistic, so they're the type of person that would end up dating someone that's unemployed, and hope that they get their shit together. And so much go as far as like if the Taurus woman has the house, she will invite her unemployed boyfriend to stay there. She will buy him a car. She will provide for him and do it all out of love. And sometimes guys take advantage of that when it comes to it, like. Taurus woman like they take advantage of that a hundred percent of the time um very much in their heads as well uh like they they need to be reminded and come back to reality sometimes because a Taurus woman can like get overwhelmed by her own mind and her own thoughts and that's why it's very important to her to have conversations with her partner consistently always reaffirming her position in the relationship and and expressing feelings she appreciates communication a lot. So don't allow her mind to wander and dwindle. She doesn't like confrontation. And like I said, she Taurus women are the type that would take a guy back after them screwing things up. Which I don't advise because, you know, like I said, she believes in, inst in the institution of relationships a lot. So I don't think it's the one weakness, well, a couple of weaknesses, but... Yeah, they're the type that if a guy screws them over, they will be like, "Okay, cool, we can we can fix things," because that's how committed they are to the idea of the relationship. Whether it's good for them, like I said, they sacrificial. So sometimes they take a a knock on the chin and they like, "It's fine, we can work things out." Don't do that. Just loose information. Use it. Don't use it. Taurus woman, don't do that. You there's always better. So um, yeah, they that's them. Um. I think, in a nutshell, in my experience.